Hello, my name is Erin. This tutorial shows how to create numbered lists in PowerPoint. As we create the list, we'll also modify the appearance, starting number, and list level. This tutorial can also be used to create lists organized by letters and Roman numerals instead of standard numbers. Today I'll be using PowerPoint for Microsoft 365. These steps also apply to PowerPoint for Mac and the one-time purchase versions of the software back to PowerPoint 2013. These steps assume you have not yet created the slide where your numbered list will appear. To begin, select the Home tab in the ribbon. Then select the New Slide menu arrow in the Slides group. Next, select a layout with pre-made text boxes from the drop-down menu. Alternatively, you can select the blank layout or one of the other layouts and then manually add a text box if you'd like. After choosing your layout, place your cursor in the automatically created filler text. The filler text will disappear. Depending on the slide you chose, you may not have seen this filler text. Now, select the Numbering menu arrow in the Paragraph group, and then select a number style from the drop-down menu. For more advanced options, select Bullets and Numbering. When the Bullets and Numbering dialog box appears, you can select a number style, and then select a size percentage in relation to the list text. I'm going to leave mine at the default 100% today. You can also select a color. The color will only affect the list numbers, not the list text. If you don't want to start your list with the number 1, you can enter a different number in the Start At text box. When you're finished, select the OK button. Next, type your text after the number. And then press the Enter key on a PC or Return key on a Mac to move to the next number and continue to type your list. To change the list level, select the list items and then press the Decrease List Level or Increase List Level buttons. Alternatively, you can press the Tab key to increase list levels or Shift plus Tab to decrease list levels. For further customization, select All or Part of the List, and then reselect the Numbering menu arrow, followed by Bullets and Numbering to change the numbering style as we previously did. In addition, you can also select the list text, and then select New Appearance options from the Home tab using the font, size, and color menus. Any color previously used in the Bullets and Numbering dialog box will override the color chosen in the Home tab. Therefore, you can have separate colors for the list numbers and list text. To leave the numbered list, place your cursor at the end of the list text and then press the Enter key followed by the Backspace key on a PC or the Return key followed by the Delete key on a Mac. And of course, remember to save your presentation to save your changes. I have created many related tutorials including how to insert a linked PowerPoint slide in Microsoft Word and how to save shapes and objects as images in PowerPoint. All the steps we just performed are listed with images on erinwritewriting.com along with all my other writing-related software tutorials to help you succeed at work and in the classroom. Feel free to leave me a comment if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to talk about in the future. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss upcoming tutorials and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching.